Hi, I'm Chaz, and I'm here to tell you that I love to jump rope. I'm on a jump rope team called the Indie Air Bears, and we jump and compete all over the country. Jumping rope is an awesome workout that's great for people of all ages, sizes, and abilities. Everybody can do it. It doesn't cost much, and all you need is a pair of gym shoes and a rope. Jumping rope can be done alone, with friends, or with an entire team. It takes time and practice. But before you know it, you'll be jumping. So why is jumping rope so great? Jumping rope is a great way for anyone to get in shape. It can burn up to 1,000 calories per hour, making it one of the best workouts you can get. It tones and develops muscles in the entire body, builds strong bones, and strengthens the heart and lungs. It's even a great way to stay in shape for other sports, like baseball or basketball. Jumping rope is really easy to learn. Anyone at any level of fitness or athletic ability can jump rope. Just set your goals and practice at your own pace to achieve success. And jumping rope is fun. You'll never get bored jumping rope because there are all kinds of jumps and moves you can do, even if you're just beginning. You can even get creative and make up your own moves. Jumping rope doesn't cost much. Just get a rope and a pair of gym shoes and you're ready to go. And jump ropes are easy to find. Check out your local department or fitness store. Some organizations, like the American Heart Association, give out free jump ropes in schools. But you can even make your own jump rope out of a clothesline or other rope you find around the house. You can jump anywhere, inside, outside, in your backyard, on the sidewalk, or in your driveway, on a playground, or in the gym. You can even travel with a jump rope. Just throw a rope in your backpack or suitcase the next time you travel somewhere. A jump rope doesn't take up much space, and jumping rope doesn't take a lot of space to do. You'll find you can jump rope just about anywhere or at any time. So let's start with the basics, like how to measure your jump rope. To jump rope, it is important to begin with a rope that is the correct size. Stand with both feet on the center of the rope. Take one handle of the rope in each hand and pull the rope up. Check if the handles come up under the arms. If the handles only come to the waist area, the rope is too short. If the handles go past the shoulder, the rope is too long. And remember, it's not hard to find a jump rope, whether you buy one or make one from rope you find around your house. Now let's start jumping. It's really important to warm up and stretch out before you start jumping. Start with a couple of minutes of basic jumping in place at a medium speed, and then stretch the muscles in your legs, arms, and back. If you want, you can warm up by jogging in place instead of jumping. But remember to always warm up your muscles and stretch before jumping. The first jump rope move to learn is the basic bounce. Stand up straight, keep your arms in close to your sides, jump lightly on the balls of your feet. Do not land flat-footed. Jump one time for each turn of the rope. Jump just high enough to clear the rope. You will tire out too quickly if you try to jump high on every jump. Once you've gotten the basic bounce down, then you're ready to move on to some really fun moves. The Kangaroo Kid gives you practice with a basic bounce as well as turning the rope forward or backward while jumping. Now, something to remember is that jumping always refers to using two feet, while hopping always refers to using one foot. Jump forward on two feet 10 times. Jump backward on two feet 10 times. Hop forward on one foot 10 times. Hop backward on one foot 10 times. These should be done without any misses. We've concentrated on the basic bounce, so now is a good time to add a variety of tricks using your feet in different ways. Skier. The feet move together from side to side while jumping the rope. Bell. The feet move forward and backward together while jumping the rope. Forward straddle. The feet move in an alternating pattern, forward and backward, similar to a scissors kick. Side straddle. The feet move apart and together in the style of a jumping jack. X. This is similar to the side straddle except the feet cross, alternating which foot is in front as you jump the rope. You can use these basic tricks in combination with the crisscross or double unders, which you will learn a little later. The countdown builds leg strength and coordination by alternating which foot is being used for different lengths of time. This entire activity is done on one foot. In other words, hopping, not jumping. Begin by hopping five times on your right foot. Then, switch to your left foot and hop five times. 
Now, switch back to your right foot and hop four times. Then, your left foot takes a turn, hopping four times. Hop three times on your right foot. Hop three times on your left foot. Hop two times on your right foot. Hop two times on your left foot. Hop once more on each foot, and the countdown is finished. For some variety in the warm-up activities, try doing the countdown without the rope. When you've mastered the countdown forward, try doing it backwards. The crisscross is a jump rope trick that's more challenging. It's a good idea to first begin by practicing the crossing motion without jumping. Begin with the rope behind you. Bring the rope over your head like the start of the basic bounce. Cross your arms and let the rope continue downward. Lift your toes and see if the rope will slide under the toe of both of your shoes. Once you've practiced the crossing motion a few times and have been successful in catching the rope under your shoes, you're ready to add the jump. Begin by jumping a few times. Cross your arms as before, but instead of catching and stopping the rope, you jump it. Uncross your arms as the rope comes over your head. When you've mastered that, try doing the crisscross backwards. Also do crisscross endurance by counting how many crisscrosses you can perform without missing. This is a harder jump rope trick, but it's great for building your endurance. To do a double under, jump up and turn the rope so that it passes under your feet two times before you land. Jump a little higher. Use your wrists to turn the rope faster. The rope must go under your feet twice before they land. Land lightly. Begin by practicing the wrist movement first. Put both handles of the rope in one hand and turn it as though you were jumping the basic bounce. After three turns, try whipping the rope faster so that it hits the floor twice. The correct way to count this is one, two, three, double under, or one, two, three, one, two. Once you've practiced the wrist movement with both hands, try a double under. When you have mastered doing a double under, it's time to try doing more than one in a row. Doing multiple double unders takes practice and more practice. After a while, when you feel comfortable doing double unders, see what happens when you combine them with other jump rope tricks. Endurance is a big part of any fitness program and requires a ton of concentration. Get someone to time you. Start together with, ready, set, go. Jump with both feet together. No misses are allowed. Don't jump too fast. Jump and land lightly on the balls of your feet. Start with a 30 second timing, then increase a minute at a time. How long can you go without missing or stopping? The 30 second speed jump builds endurance, but focuses on jumping as fast as you can. Get a friend to time you for 30 seconds. Get started together with, ready, set, go. Jump as fast as you can. Misses do not matter. Have someone count the jumps that are completed. The goal is to build speed. And the quicker you're able to jump, the better your form will get. One of the best things about jumping rope is jumping with friends. Let's start jumping with two people. Use a rope that is longer than the regular jump rope. Say ready, set, go to get started together. Double bounce or jump slower when starting out. Stay close to your friend when jumping. Turn the rope together at the same speed. Start simple. Begin with the basics like jump 10 times together. Take turns with your friend, allowing each jumper to take four jumps before switching. Change directions. Have one jumper face forward and one jumper face backward. Remember to switch the handle to the other hand as you turn. Have one partner be the turner and the other partner be the jumper. There are many footwork tricks you can try with this style of jumping. Don't be afraid to try out different ideas. Two people can work together in one rope in a lot of ways. Just use what will be shown you here as a starting point for coming up with other new ways to jump. Now let's do some double dutch. For double dutch, you'll need three people and a pair of ropes that are at least 12 feet long. Double dutch is difficult at first because the key to success is having good turners. To start, the turner should hold one end of each rope in each hand and face each other. They should stand far enough away from each other for the ropes to be pulled straight. Begin by turning the ropes, one and then the other, in a small circular motion. The ropes should turn toward each other, that is, one clockwise and the other counterclockwise. 
Keep your elbows close to your sides and continue turning until you have the ropes turning in a rhythmic circular pattern, one and then the other. At this point, one turner should slowly move toward the other turner, and both turners should begin turning their circles bigger until the ropes are touching the floor on every turn. To make sure you have a smooth circular pattern, hold the ropes with your hands and stick your thumbs up. Then, as you turn the ropes, touch your thumb to your nose at the top of the circular pattern. Once your turners have the ropes turning in a smooth arch, touching the floor each time and not touching each other, then you're ready for the jumper to jump in. The jumper should start by standing next to a turner and should watch the rope that is farthest away from him or her. When the rope farthest away touches the ground, the jumper should jump in, taking a large diagonal stride and landing in the center of the ropes on the balls of both feet and keep on jumping. The first jump you make will be over the rope that is closest to you. It's helpful to mark the ground to show the center for the jumper. You will exit the ropes next to the turner close enough to touch their shoulder. When you're ready, first decide which side you will exit by. Get a little closer to that turner as you continue jumping and then watch the rope on the opposite side of your exit side. You will jump the rope on the opposite side and then immediately exit by stepping out past your turner. Wow guys, that was really great. Double dutch is really tough, so make sure you keep practicing. Once you've mastered the basics, you can try doing some footwork tricks. I hope my friends and I have shown you that jumping rope is fun, and it's a great way to get active and stay in shape. Not to mention, it's also a great way to make friends. No matter what your size, shape, age, or abilities are, jumping rope is something anyone can do anywhere. But remember, jumping rope takes practice. Be patient and don't get discouraged. It may take time before you get good with the moves, but the most important thing is to keep at it. Even if you aren't able to jump rope really fast or for a really long time, just jumping rope for a few minutes every day is great exercise. The real key to being healthy is doing some kind of physical activity every day. So put on some favorite music, grab a rope, and get jumping.